So today I'm going to do in a Halloween get ready with me. I am going as Tinkerbell for the party that I'm going to tonight. I have already done my hair, completely forgot to vlog it so I'm sorry about that. But I have curled it and I put it in pigtails. I know that technically Tinkerbell wears her hair in a bun but I wanted to do this so I did. What's really annoying is that my wings haven't came but I'm still going to make my costume Halloween by right? adding like blood and stuff so that'll be good. Oh, my phone's going off. But yeah, that will be good. And I decided to go to Tinkerbell because I was trying to come up with a costume idea. Tomorrow I'm going as 11 because I've got two parties but for this party I didn't have a clue what to go as. And then I thought, oh, my grandma Ann used to call me Tinkerbell so I was like, I'm going to go as Tinkerbell and I feel like I have the look of Tinkerbell because of my hair, my blonde hair and then I also have a green dress to go with it. This is my costume, we've got bloody tights, my green dress, there it is, I love it. Um, and we've got my hair and now I'm going to do my makeup. I'm so insecure in dresses, like I never wear them, I feel so weird. I am about to do my makeup. For my makeup I'm going to do some like greenish type of eyeshadow and then I'm going to have blood dripping from my eyelids and then I'm going to do some blood from my lip, do some mascara, all that fun stuff. First I'm going to do my skincare and then I'm going to do my makeup. I feel so weird, I never get dressed up, this is weird. <laughs> Um, anyways, let's do my skincare. Oh no, camera fell. I'm kind of in a rush, guys, which is not great. Usually I'm always early or not in a rush, but today I am definitely in a rush. One, two, three, four. Put it from there. Rub it in. But yeah, as y'all heard earlier, like my wings didn't come. It's really annoying because now I'm going to have some wings that I'm never going to use but I guess I can use them next year for a different costume. Um, but yeah, it's super annoying but we vibe. I'm just going to say I'm a wingless um, Tinkerbell. I think I'm going to go for this one because it's more green. But it's better for Tinkerbell because she literally owns the colour green. I used to hate on the colour green but now I love it. Like this type of green is my favourite. Forest green. It's so beautiful. Let me just scrub all of this off you know what's ridiculous this tiny thing was four quid look how small that should be like 50p my room is such a tip right now but i'm just gonna have to deal with it tomorrow because i really don't have time to clean it right now this is like my first party party i only really ever have like parties at mine just because i do have social anxiety like Big gatherings scare me a lot, but I don't know if I should tell the internet this, it's kind of oversharing, but I am on medication now for my anxiety. And honestly, I think it helps so much because I'm literally not nervous, I'm just excited. And that is so weird because when I got invited to a party last time, I ended up not being able to go because I had a panic attack, but I literally feel perfectly fine. And that is really weird for me like usually any kind of social situation i'm like nope not doing it but today i'm just like i want to do it i want to go out i want to party i want to be with my friends so i know not everyone wants to go on tablets for their mental health but i feel like it's genuinely beneficial for me as a person obviously it differs for everyone i really was not expecting to go into a deep chat but you know, it's me, I always end up getting deep. But yeah, I just think that my tablet, and I'm not even on a really high dose either, so I feel like some of it is me working on myself as well as being on the tablets. It just takes off the edge of things, I think. Obviously, I do still get nervous, but I don't actually have panic attacks. Like, usually right now, I would be having a panic attack, but I'm completely chilled out, which is a weird feeling, a new feeling, and I don't really know how to think of it. It's weird. It's really weird, but I really like it. And you know what? Cams ain't that good. They don't really help, if I'm being honest, because literally I haven't seen cams for three weeks, and I've done all this work by myself, like fixing myself, not letting my anxiety control me anymore. These three weeks have been the best for my mental health. 
and I haven't been speaking to cams. You see what I'm getting at? They're not very good, honestly. Like, I get that they're trying to help, but they really don't help. If anything, they make things worse. This, this green is so pretty. But look how pretty, I love it. My lighting in my room is so bad, I'm gonna put my phone flashlight on, just for better lighting. Oh yeah, that is so much better. What else should we talk about? Oh, I'm going back to college next week and I haven't been for ages. And I'm actually really excited. Like I want to get a degree in psychology. Um, I want to work hard because I have been slacking off quite a lot. But when I go back, I'm definitely going to work hard towards getting that degree in psychology. Even though psychology is a backup for me, like I still want to have that for a backup because it's good to have a degree in psychology and if it wasn't for editing psychology would be what i want what i'd want to do as a career so if editing doesn't work out for me but i definitely think it will because it's something that i'm really passionate about but if it doesn't you never know i have that as a backup so yeah and i just find psychology like such an interesting thing like everything to do with the mind and how everyone's minds are different and how they work. I just think it's so um, intriguing and very, very interesting. And I've said I suffer with mental health myself and I think it'd be nice to learn about other mental health issues and learn about my own as well. I just think that will be really interesting. One thing I do love as well is criminology, but sadly I'm not doing that, but criminology like, to be fair, it probably won't be good for my social anxiety if I did criminology, if I'm being honest. But it is super interesting. I actually love this colour green. It's so nice. Like, ah, I love, I love. It's forest green and that's my favourite green. All other greens are trash, but forest green is chef's kiss. So weird to be, get, like, I can't fathom how weird it feels to actually be getting dolled up. I'm just not that kind of person, but it's actually really fun. I think you can kind of tell I'm Tinkerbell anyway, like it's kind of obvious with the green dress and green eyeshadow. Eyeshadow takes me so long. There we go, I think that's good. Now, the fake blood. Um, where's my fake blood gone? There it is, right. I wish I could do eyeliner, because I'd honestly like do like a bloody eyeliner and that'd be quite cool, but I can't. I just wanna ruin it <laughs> does that look good i don't know does that look bad probably but you know we vibe it's cool i need more blood words why do i lose everything i swear to god i'm so bad for it there we go right in front of me that'll do for the eyes i know it don't look great but you know we vibe right let's do the lip first i'm gonna put some vaseline on I'm going to end up getting fake blood on my carpet, I need to be careful. No, that looks stupid. Let me uh, fix that. <laughs> got fail and try, guys. you just got to fail and try. I feel like I'm not saying that saying properly, but you know. I feel like that looks better. No, it don't. <laughs> I'm so bad at makeup. Ugh. I think I might take off the lip one and just leave the lips without any blood because it just doesn't look good. I'm ready way too early. I was so worried that I won't want to be ready. I was like, oh, it's five. I can't be ready for six. It's 5.25. That's how fast I am at getting ready. Oh, wait, I need to do mascara. I'm not quite done yet. Um, let's get the mascara on. But it gives me time to take photos and do TikToks, so we vibe. I say that word way too much, like honestly. I say vibe far too much. The fact that I'm staying out all night as well and I'm not gonna sleep actually scares me. Even though I don't sleep anyway, just like partying all night, like I never do that. I am sensible though, like I'm a sensible drinker. I'm only drinking Smirnoff Ice and that's not strong at all. And literally, I don't think I'm a lightweight anyway. Like, on my birthday I had two full bottles of Smirnoff and I felt nothing, not even tipsy. And 
Yeah, which is kind of annoying, like, I want to be tipsy, but I'm probably not going to get tipsy of getting drunk for the first time, and definitely didn't drink just for the fries. Here is the finished look. <laughs> Okay. Peace out. <laughs> 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 